Welcome to Echo 101, Study Session 9, Imperfect Competition. Introduction On a continuum of market structure, there are two extremes, perfect competition and a pure monopoly. A state of imperfect competition arises when at least two or more of the requirements of perfect competition are violated or broken down. Having discussed perfect competition in the previous study session, we shall proceed to focus on imperfect competition in this study session and the next. Learning outcomes. When you have studied this session, you should be able to, one, distinguish between perfectly and imperfectly competitive firms, two, point out the characteristics of at least three forms of imperfect market. Number one, basic differences between perfectly and imperfectly competitive firms. The following are the basic differences between perfect and imperfect firms. One, in a perfectly competitive firm, there must be a large number of buyers and sellers so that each economic agent's action will not necessarily have any appreciable impact on the market price. Whereas in an imperfectly competitive situation, it is possible to have one or few sellers and many buyers or many sellers both with a single buyer or few sellers. Two, perfectly competitive firms deal with homogeneous products, while imperfectly competitive firms deal with heterogeneous or differentiated products. Three, each economic agent in a perfectly competitive system is a price taker, while in an imperfectly competitive industry, they are necessarily prize makers. Number four, a perfectly competitive firm is facing a perfectly elastic demand curve, whereas imperfect competitive firms are faced with a downward sloping demand curve. Number five, perfect information is assumed under perfect competition, but this may not be so with imperfect competition. Number six, a perfectly competitive firm only has output decision to make, but not the pricing decision. But under imperfectly competitive industry, the firm can either make output or pricing decisions. Forms of imperfect competition. There are different forms of imperfect competition at the extreme is a pure monopoly situation. A semblance to real life situation consists of monopolistic competition, oligopoly, duopoly, and monopsony. Pure monopoly. It is a market structure where there is a single firm or producer of a product that has no closed substitute. This may take the form of a sole supplier or unified business organization. Thus, a pure monopolist constitute both the industry and a firm. A pure monopolist has the power to determine either the price or quantity he wishes to sell. He cannot determine the two simultaneously. The nature of the demand facing him is downward sloping, as indicated in figure 9.2. Causes of monopoly. A monopoly situation could arise via different ways. They include, among others, one, natural monopolies. These occur when a single firm can supply a good or service to an entire market at a smaller cost than could two or more firms. That is, where there are economies of scale, 
over the relevant range of output produced. Number two, government created monopolies. This monopoly situation arises because the government has given one person or firm the exclusive right to sell some goods or services. Three, resource-based monopolies. These are caused when a single firm owns a key resource. Here, exclusive ownership of a key resource is a potential cause of monopoly. Number four, technologically induced monopolies. These are caused when a firm enjoys extensive technological economies of scale such that the entry of a new firm is virtually not feasible or possible. Number five, merger or acquisition monopolies. The merger of smaller firms to form a single formidable firm could lead to monopoly situation. Also, a relatively larger firm may acquire smaller firms and hence form a monopoly. Number six, patent and copyright monopolies. A patent confers a monopoly right to the exclusive use of an invention. For the work of art and literature, copyrights may be issued to prevent the original innovator from being copied. Profit maximization of a monopoly. It is possible for a monopolist to make abnormal profit either in the short or in the long run. This is because of the assumption of no free entry condition. Thus, for a monopolist to maximize profit in the short run, this condition must be adhered to. That is, marginal revenue must equal marginal cost. This is shown in figure 9.3 in the diagram. The profit maximization output level occurs where MC equals MR. These occurs at output level Q star. At lower output level than OQ star, every additional unit produced adds more to marginal revenue than cost. That is, marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost. When output is greater than OQ star, every additional unit produced adds less to total revenue than to total cost. That is, MR is less than MC. Therefore, the most profitable output level is OQ star. Monopolistic competition. A monopolistic competition is a market structure in which many firms sell products that are similar but not identical. This market also faces a downward sloping demand curve for its own product. An example of monopolistic competition market is the sub-drink industry. Monopolistic competition is based mainly on these four key assumptions. One, each firm produces one specific variety or brand of the industry's differentiated product. Two, the industry contains so many firms that each one ignores the possible reaction of its competitors when it makes its own price and output decisions. Three, there is freedom of entry and exit in the industry. Four, there is symmetry. This simply means a new entrant into the market or industry takes sales in equal proportion from all existing firms. Non-price competition. In a monopolistic market arrangement, many firms spend large sums of money on advertising. They do so in an attempt both to shift the demand curve for the industry's product and to attract customers from competing firms. Firms also use advertising 
to signal their commitment to quality and service in order to generate customers' loyalty for their brand. Price and output determination in monopolistic competition. The equilibrium of the firm involves the usual profit maximization where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. The short-run equilibrium is similar to that of a monopolist. The firm is not a passive price taker. It may manipulate price or quantity until profits are maximized. Long-run equilibrium in a monopolistic competition. A monopolistic competitive firm will maximize profit where MR, marginal revenue, equals MC, marginal cost and will produce output OQ star and sell at OA per unit of output. In the short run, abnormal profit is possible and this is represented by rectangle in figure 9.4. In the long run, this market exhibits a feature similar to that of a perfectly competitive firm. At such, the abnormal profit realized in the short run will be wiped off. This is mainly due to free entry conditions of monopolistic competitive firm. Oligopoly model. This is the type of market structure in which there are only a few rival firms whose economic well-being and behavior is mutually interdependent. One firm's action influences the action of other firms. Oligopoly market has the following general characteristics. Number one, small number of dominant firms. Number two, mutual interdependence. Number three, barriers to entry. Number four, homogeneous or differentiated product. Short-run profit maximization condition among rivals in oligopoly. Unlike the other market structures we have analyzed, the profit maximizing decision under oligopolistic competition is difficult to analyze graphically. This is a direct result of mutual interdependence of the firms in the industry. In this market, there is action reaction such that any decision taken by a firm to increase the price of its product may steer other firms reacting by altering their prices as well. Due to mutual interdependence, which is prevalent in such market, competition among firms may lead to reduce profit for everyone in the long run. Thus, cooperation among firms is an attractive alternative. Alternatives to competition. There are several alternatives available to avoid a situation of engaging in competition among firms in an oligopolistic market structure. They are as follows. Collusion. This is the act of firms working together to establish the price and level of output in a particular market. Explicit collusion among firms is however prohibited and illegal collusion can still occur or take a variety of forms. A. Cartel. This is a group of firms that have explicitly and openly agreed to work together to set the price that will be charged in a particular market. B, price leadership. This refers to a situation in which one firm in an industry establishes the market price and the remaining firms in the industry to follow suit. C, secret agreement. This is a situation in which firms have worked together secretly and illegally 
to control the price in a particular industry. Majors. This can also provide a means of reducing the degree of competition faced by individual firms and enhancing their market power. It can take three forms. A. Horizontal merger. This is a merger into a single firm of two or more firms producing the same or similar product. Vertical merger. This is a merger into a single firm of two or more firms at different levels in the chain of production. C. Conglomerate merger. This is a merger between two or more firms whose output are unrelated. Summary. We distinguish between perfectly and imperfectly competitive firms in this study session. We also pointed out the characteristics of different forms of imperfect market. This is the end of study session 9. Thanks for listening.